Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. As we spend these moments with our Good Shepherd, we're going to fo focus on falsehood as Psalm 62, verses 3 and 4 talk about. How long will all of you attack a man to batter him, like a leaning wall, a tottering fence? They only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in falsehood. Facebook begins to buzz. Then Twitter, now called X. Then texts. People want to know, have you heard? What do you think about? Do you think there's any other reason? They were, of course, talking about the latest sensational news story, some celebrity scandal, some political intrigue, some local misfortune. Later, the story was exposed as a big hoax that had been set up by someone who wanted to have their 15 minutes of fame. Deep fakes, false websites filled with quotes from people who don't even exist helped to authenticate the lie. This doesn't shock me. The devil has been lying from the beginning, and so have those who follow him. What shocks me is how quickly and readily some people believe those rumors. There is no, I hope this isn't true, or I'm going to check other places to see if this is true. There's just immediate anger, nasty talk, and flaming tirade. Apparently, Luther had a better grasp of human nature. In his large catechism, he wrote, For it is a common evil plague that everyone prefers hearing evil to hearing good of his neighbor. And though we ourselves are so bad that we cannot suffer that anyone should say anything bad about us, but everyone would much rather that all the world would speak in, of him in terms of gold, yet we cannot bear the best is spoken about others. Now, I wouldn't bring this up if it were a one-time thing. It isn't. Almost all of us, including our crucified and risen Savior, have suffered unwarranted and undeserved attacks upon our reputation. As Luther said, it's a common evil. Thankfully, this is a common evil which can be in two easy steps corrected. First, we honor the Savior by not spreading stories about others. And second, we glorify the Christ by refusing to listen to such stories when they're being reported. True, we will miss a bunch of gossip. But, after all, it's only lies that we will be missing. We pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, when you were on trial, they brought in false witnesses about you. I give thanks that none of those witnesses could come up with any negative fact that would tarnish your perfect life. Grant that we, your followers, may avoid sharing and listening to rumors about others. I ask this in your name. Amen. Well, my friends, listen only to the truth. Close your ears and your mouth to gossip, and in that way glorify your Lord.